Remember, even a repair has a reduced service life and it costs money to take it out in and out of the machine. Well, that looks dirty. I mean, that looks bad. Hi guys, Fraser from Lifco Hydraulics. This is just a simple, the pump isn't pumping anymore problem here. Let's take a look to see if we can find the cause. The PV270. Wow, you would have done that whole setup for nothing. All right, so I don't need this. No, that's good. Damien there was going to use a strong back to apply pressure down onto uh, the shaft and then but he looks like he'd already removed some of the components so that there was no more tension on that barrel spring it's like if there's anything that i can feel it's like very tiny which i think we could probably clean that up hmm. i wouldn't say it's major or anything now we put this back over Not budging? No. There you go. That works. Well, that looks dirty. I mean, that looks bad. <laughs> Uh, what just happened there? Well, he, he's taken this unit apart upside down. Normally, you would take the back end cover and then pull the guts out of it and then take the shaft out last. In this case, he's done it in reverse. Uh, he probably should just do it the other way, but it's also a very heavy and big unit. So it could be a little bit difficult to get that into the vise. Just trying to see where the, the piece of metal that you found would have came off, but the piston looked kind of okay. Well, it could have been this material here because it kind of had that kind of shine to yeah. it. Like, this looks like it came right out. Okay, so these look decent, I think. So I already see, looks like some cavitation on the corners here. Almost every corner. Yeah. This doesn't look that yeah. bad. We don't have one tool. I don't think. Seven, just like. No, my nail does catch, but I'm sure we could lop it. Worn. If you look on the side, you can see it's. Yeah, I can feel it too. Pretty rough there too. Yeah. That's a servo piston. The controller would control this. The controller, remember, is modulating. This servo piston is would be modulating with it. It'd be moving back and forth quite rapidly. It would also be in a factory, it'd probably be on comp or, or turned off for a long period of time. That could also be kind of hard on it because there's less surface area uh, connecting that to the housing. So you can see some damage when pumps are on comp for a long time. Pistons, too much pull off. I don't know if you can hear it, but... Oh, there is pull-off? Yeah. Oh, I do hear it. It's there. Off first glance, this servo piston needs to be replaced. It's got some significant wear right there. And you can see in the housing as well. Yeah. The, the matching wear in there, so that's another 
part that will probably need to be replaced. This barrel is beyond its life with all the cavitation in there. These gotta be replaced too. So those, barrel, servo piston, these have to be replaced. Um, port plate is potentially reusable, it's not too bad. Shaft is also potentially reusable. You're just gonna lap them first? Yeah, and then uh, basically I was given a guideline for if it costs more than this to fix it, then they're probably just gonna buy a new one. Okay. So now I gotta go through all the parts and uh, figure out where we're at. What he's referring to here is the sort of the rule is that if a repair costs more than 60% of the cost of a new unit, then it's the customer's more likely to just go with a new unit. Remember, even a repair has a reduced service life and it costs money to take it out in and out of the machine. So once it gets a certain point, you'd probably be just better off to replace the unit. From my experience over the uh, decades that I've been doing this, is that more and more is just being uh, replaced as opposed to being repaired. But what's happening is, is that you see in a lot of old units like that BPV 50 that we had in our shop where there is no replacement. We have to get it working there. What is the result here? The unit is just getting replaced. The pumps and motors that you see on these videos, they're your pumps and motors. Send them in. We'll make a troubleshooting video and we don't charge for labor if we're making a video on it. We just got these bi hydraulic shirts in. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. Send us an email, sales at with your address and size, and we're gonna give a few out.